So this is our outside terrace area and this is the land drain, the French drain that's been put in already. It goes under a little bridge here and then it goes down into this area here where I'm draining the sump which is in there. It then comes into the barn area here into a solid PVC pipe which connects it down into this drain in this corner which takes it out the front of the house where it's then ejected just onto the street it flows down there into a drain It's incredibly satisfying to see the drain shifting so much water in heavy rains like this. But I've still got a lot of work to do on the tricky corner drain, which has been a bit of a head scratcher. And I prefer not to work on the drainage when it's weather like this. Sometimes you just have to wait for the storm to pass. Put the camera in to give you a look. The overflow comes out kind of floor level, but it's it's not really an overflow. It's it is on the inside as a purpose built hole by the looks of things. On the outside there's no obvious way that it flows out.
set up my phone. <laughs> so having mucked around with this for too long now, I'm coming to the decision that I'm going to change the plan completely. So I wanted to keep that drain area dry because I don't like how close it is to the foundation of the house. The trench that is there actually has water coming through from the garden side, so from this side. There are slight areas of water, just the same as it is here on the edge of the terrace. And in the sump, you can see where the water's coming in through the rock at the back and then collecting in the sump. And then it's going out through the rock at the front. There's always water coming into that trench. And I don't think that, that blocking it off as I intended to do is, uh, is actually a very good idea. So I'm kind of now, I'm kind of thinking we just do drain all the way and uh, I'm going to put the corrugated agri pipe in the perforated agri pipe, and the the sump can just drain through as it is, and everything can drain into that trench and and be taken out that corner. It's too complex and possibly a dead end to try and do something more complicated like I had got planned. Maybe I haven't even explained my original plan <laughs> that clearly and uh, you're just watching me go around in circles here. But I think, yeah, I'm just going to put that drain in, fill it with gravel and get on with the uh, rest of the project, eh?
So that's as far as we're going to go with the gravel. We need to leave a bit of access for the bottom of this wall and also around the sump here because this will be repointed eventually as as will this looking forward to doing this and making it all a bit nicer and tidier and you know look forward to doing the aesthetic stuff really and then you know in the future we'll we'll top it up and make it all look nice and good but at the moment it's just the practicality of it working the downspout i've put it back to its original place so it's just going to drain into this drain again because we'll be getting a new gutter system very soon along with the roof so i'll reorganize that after the roof so thanks for watching see you soon cheers